Hi guys, this is Darko and in this video I will share with you tips on how to get better picture quality out of Samsung's NU7100 series. Uh, in front of me is 49 inch model, however since Samsung is sharing same picture processor and same panels in NU range, you can apply these settings to other screen sizes and models as well. So. I calibrated this model, I checked its features and from that I can tell you that this is a TV made for watching SDR content. Uh, it supports HDR10, it supports HDR10+, Plus. however it's really limited in terms of advanced picture characteristics one would need to get uh, impactful HDR experience. Uh, overall, my advice is that out of all picture modes that are available, you use movie mode for SDR and for HDR. Uh, so, I will now show you picture menus. I will press home button and scroll to settings. And here, if I go up, you have this movie picture mode, which is actually calibrated. But if I click on it, I will scroll through other modes as well. Dynamic, Standard, Natural and Movie. By default picture is in Standard mode and similar as with uh, Dynamic and Natural. It's highly inaccurate, it's too cold, so everything appears uh, unnatural and it's far from standards we want to achieve. The best mode by default to use is movie mode and if you press the arrow up you will get quick access to basic options including backlight, brightness or black level adjustment, contrast or white level adjustment, sharpness, color and tint. But now I'll return back to this menu and actually go down and press settings. You can access this menu quicker if you just press settings button on your remote. So inside this menu you have again access to these different picture modes. We'll stick with movie mode. So I'm showing these settings for SDR type of content. Later on I will talk briefly about HDR. So first menu option is picture size settings which I recommend keeping at 16 by 9 standard with fit to screen turned on or on auto. If you need more advanced adjustments, here you have custom or legacy 4x3 format. Ok, next is expert settings submenu with backlight which I adjusted to 44. Uh, basically this is control you can freely adjust depending on how much light you have in the room and if you want a dimmer or brighter picture. Brightness was set correctly at zero. Contrast I had to re reduce actually to get more neutral highlights otherwise they were getting a red pink hue to them. And this is more or less normal for uh, Samsung TVs. Sharpness neutral value is zero, but if you want to boost uh, this, you can increase the value. And what you notice here is that Samsung actually this year altered these ranges for settings. So, for example, backlight was before up to 20, now it's up to 50, and so on. Color default 25 that's ok, tint at 0, apply picture settings as its name suggests will copy all adjustments to other inputs. Digital clean view will reduce noise and MPEG compression artifacts. It's effective and I recommend if you're bothered with that, if you don't like uh, noise in picture that you use either auto or low, they're really effective. Auto motion plus settings, this is a 60 Hz TV, so here all you have is this uh, judder reduction to get soap opera effect in 24p content. So when you're watching movies, if you want smoother, smoother movements, but with some artifacts, 
then play with this option and LED clear motion this is black frame insertion works best for 24p content for other frequencies you will get flickering which is something I really don't like however for movies you will get dimmer picture and better motion resolution so if you're okay with that I recommend you use settings like that but for me as I don't like this reduced uh, light output and this TV is actually not really capable of reaching high luminance levels I measured around 280 nits in SDR and even lower 250 nits in HDR so with this option you are basically cutting this uh, to half and uh, this is definitely uh, only okay for really a nighttime and dark room environment. Next we have contrast enhancer I recommend turn it off fill mode for interlaced content auto 2 is okay color tone warm 2 now white balance by default there was small lack of red as a picture became brighter so I did small adjustments to two point controls so I had to raise uh, red and then reduce blue a bit and for dark portion of picture I reduced red just slightly and same goes for blue but this is highly individual I don't recommend that you copy it you can maybe just try it out but uh, really pay attention to actual content and if possible calibrate your TV for the best result there is also 20 point settings here where you can more precisely adjust uh, white balance however after two point adjustment there was really uh, no need to go further gamma so last year Samsung adopted this BT1886 formula and that's the only one you can use uh, TV was really accurately tracking it in movie mode so I didn't do any modifications here RGB only mode for calibration so to be turned off for normal viewing color space settings I recommend auto it was tracking BT709 accurately and here you have also access to native which in reality doesn't do much uh, because this TV is not capable of reaching any colors outside of BT709 so forget DC, uh, DCI-P3 and so on white color gamut uh, just use auto mode and TV will accurately uh, display colors for BT709 which means uh, standard content blu-ray some UHD Blu-ray content and so on and this brings us to the end we only have reset picture which will bring everything to default so not a lot of controls but they're not really needed as this TV is really uh, fairly accurate by default and after calibration it's uh, really good of course as this is VA panel best result is obtained if you sit directly in front of it or from small angle from bigger angles you will lose color saturation and everything will appear washed out okay now let's talk about HDR picture so now I'm running this uh, HDR10 video from my network player and if I press home button and go to settings you see that this picture mode icon got HDR text and that says that TV is in HDR mode unfortunately there is no other notification and if I go to settings you see that picture modes still carry same names they don't have HDR or anything else uh, and you will also see in expert settings that backlight is maxed out and so is contrast and if you scroll down to gamma you will see ST2084 which is HDR gamma formula now this TV also supports uh, HLG gamma and I have one video to show it to you so if I run this HDR content again it plays everything okay but there is no notification that the TV is in HDR mode I will now press home and go to settings you again see this HDR icon and if I go down and back to settings menu so nothing changed in picture mode 
maxed out backlight and contrast and here for gamma formula you see it says HLG so now you know that TV detects and displays HLG picture okay time to conclude so picture was accurate by default in movie mode and in general movie mode is what I recommend for watching SDR and HDR um, this TV is really capable of displaying nice SDR picture for HDR it doesn't have display or local dimming capable of really bright highlights and wide color gamut so my recommendation is as prices of these 2018 models are higher you will get exactly same performance and same picture quality from 2017 models so for example MU series MU series 6000 or 7000 or even 8000 basically you can save money and get same functionality also in regards to Tizen OS platform guys thank you very much for watching this video uh, you can also get these settings together with gaming settings uh, in my calibration store if you have some questions let me know in the comment section and I'll see you soon in my next video Bye!